Hi, I'm Lauren Gleason. I'm a registered dietitian and board certified specialist in kidney nutrition. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about kidney friendly, low sodium cookies. And if you like videos like this and you want me to make more, then be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to let me know. So first off, you might be thinking, low sodium cookies? Cookies are sweet, aren't they all low sodium? And the answer to that is no, otherwise I wouldn't be making a video about it. Um, we define low sodium as a food that has fewer milligrams of sodium than calories, and there are tons of cookies that are way below this, um, but there's also some cookies that have more sodium than calories. So we do wanna make sure that when we choose to eat cookies that we are picking the ones that are low in sodium. Um, the second thing you wanna keep an eye out for is phosphate additives. Phosphate additives are a very common thing in baked goods because Phosphorus is the primary ingredient in baking powder. Um, there's many cookie brands on the market that don't contain phosphorus, but there are a lot that do contain additives. Anyone with kidney disease should be avoiding foods with phosphorus additives. And quite frankly, the general population would probably be better off limiting phosphorus additives. I know in my house, we try to avoid them whenever possible. Now, Aside from potential additives and sodium, cookies are generally low in protein, which is great for people with CKD who are not on dialysis. And they're also low in potassium, which may or may not be something that you need to watch out for. And they're delicious. They can seem like the perfect food, right? Well, not so fast. Cookies are typically high in sugar, they're low in fiber, they're low in vitamins and antioxidants, and they contain no fruits or vegetables, and even the ones that do, do claim to contain fruits and vegetables probably don't include enough to truly count as a serving. Um, the key to kidney-friendly cookies is moderation. Uh, the more cookies you eat, the less room you have for kidney-friendly superfoods like fruits and vegetables. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis, I recommend that you limit your sweet indulgences to no more than 10% of your daily calories. So this means if you eat, uh, or if you need 2,000 calories per day, then you can include about 200 calories worth of cookies or whatever other sweet treat you want. Um, so now that we know we can't eat unlimited cookies, but we can definitely find a way to include them in a kidney friendly diet, let's take a look at which ones are kidney friendly. Now, I've included the link to this webpage in my description of this video. On my site, I've listed out 10 different categories of cookies with links directly to these kidney friendly cookies. So you can order them right there or you can read reviews to see if they're any good. Um, at the time of this video, I have at least 90 different types of low sodium kidney friendly cookies with no phosphorus additives in them. Um, you are sure to find at least one that you will love. So let's dive right in. First up, I've got animal crackers. Again, if you click on these links, you can see how much they cost or you can read reviews about them. Next up, we've got chocolate chip cookies and you can see here there are a ton of options for chocolate chip cookies. Uh, you can also see that I occasionally make a note of when a cookie is high in protein. If you've got CKD and you're not on dialysis, you'd want to avoid the high protein cookies. However, if you are on dialysis and you have higher protein needs, then choosing a high protein cookie could be a really enjoyable way uh, to get in some extra protein. Uh, and again, the link to this website is in the description of this video. Uh, you'll also see links to sign up for my CKD diet course if you're looking for an in-depth, affordable education on the CKD diet from an expert dietitian, then I would encourage you to sign up. The next flavor I have shown is coconut cookies. Then we've got gingerbread followed by ginger snaps. Next, we've got graham crackers, lemon cookies, oatmeal cookies, peanut butter cookies, and then last but not least, we've got sandwich cookies. So. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you want me to make more videos like this, then please, please, please let me know by liking this video and subscribing to the Kidney Foodie channel. Enjoy.